Hello, well I'm doing some woodworking today and I'm going to be converting my lever shed into a railway station. Now this is a slightly nuts project, I'll give a quick bit of history. At one point I had about 28 uh, relations all working for British Rail, for the railways in the UK. My father worked on the railway, my grandfather, and his father, all going back, all worked on the railway. Even my mum worked on the railway. I grew up with railways and I was looking at my leather shed and thinking well it needs a bit of a repaint so I thought okay let's paint it up and do it up like an old railway station let's have a bit of fun pimp my shed and because I'm in southeast of England I'm going to do it with the railway colours I grew up with southern railways always used to have green and like a buff colour on all their buildings, on their stations, signal boxes and what have you. So that's what I'm going to do to my leather shed. Slightly nuts, but I mean it needs painting or something doing to it. Now the railway stations used to have fancy woodwork all around the station canopies. These were actually often boards going down vertically and they were called dagger boards because they looked a bit like daggers coming down. Well, to mark out this dagger board design is actually very straightforward. All I did was I took three inch centers, so I'm just using a pair of dividers. I was able to walk down the plank with the dividers, putting in three inch centers and basically drilling the one inch round hole there. Then what I did was take the midpoint between the holes, just three quarters of an inch down, and repeat again just marking centers with my dividers so every three inches you get this additional center three quarters down from a line through that the holes and then i just take my compass and do a, a, a little draw in a curve like that so it's fairly straightforward to build up really what i think is quite an attractive little pattern and I'm using all sorts of sort of off cuts of wood I've got here so I've actually on the bandsaw I've been sawing thick planks down into thinner planks and I've got a mixture of, sort of like brown oak I've got some larch which I've got a split so I'll have to repair it and um, bits of other hardwood I've managed to find here and there so I have managed to get I think in total about six of these which is what I'll be needing Let's swing this round there we are, you'll see a few more there on the way. So the first part of making the scroll pattern is to drill a whole series of one inch diameter holes down the, down the length here. And I'll be doing that on my trusty pillar drill. <laughs> I call it a pillar drill. I know I'm going to get comments now. Bench drill, press. Oh, I don't know, a few other names you can probably think of. But anyway, call it what you like. <laughs> my trusty, whoops, my trusty drill. I'm going to be using a, a force in a bit and I'm going to have it running fairly slowly so it doesn't heat up. And it gives a nice, neat hole with a very smooth interior edge so that would be good for painting on which is all good anyway i'll carry on i've got another i don't know 15 to do on this particular plank cutting out the curves is pretty straightforward it's just using a jigsaw and going in from each side so that's one side same thing the other way and Hey Presto, you have a nice curve shape. Just using my little Makita jigsaw, I find these very good. It lasts quite a long time on one battery. So anyway, I'll carry on cutting these out. I will then need to prime them, undercoat them, paint them. So it's quite an involved process. Well at the moment I've got undercoat now on most of the shed and I'm just trying out some sort of tester colours for the paintwork itself. I've got a feeling I'm going to have trouble getting hold of paint, but we'll see, it's in lockdown at the moment. But I'll be scanning the web trying to find something. Um, I'll just quickly show you the colour that is potentially going to be used. 
and then I think I'll post another film later on showing progress as this moves along. It'll probably be a little bit of a gap now. It's also rainy for the next week, so I don't think I'll get much painting done, which is typical. I'm probably going to go for this like um, green with cream on top. It's sort of vaguely like southern uh, railway colours. It's not complete buff, but I think it matches in with our other buildings. So bye bye for now and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and you can see the next instalment. <laughs> Enjoy lockdown. Bye bye then.